Hey everyone, my name is Jaime from Advanced Test Equipment, and today we're going over the newest Keysight SL1215 AC Grid Simulator. So let's get started. The Keysight SL1215A is both an AC and DC source and load. It's capable of up to 1200 volts AC at 90 kVA and up to 1000 volts DC at 120 kilowatts. Now, let's take a look at our input and output connection. So this here is the output. It's three phase five wire connection, line one, two, three, with the neutral and ground. We also have separate DC positive and negative outputs as well. The input is a 480 volt AC four five wire setup, but in this demo, we're using a four wire setup. Now that we've looked at the back, let's turn on the unit. We're turning on the unit, it's best to work from the bottom up. Now, since it's turning on, let's take a look at the software. Here is a software for the SL1215A. This is a way to control the AC grid simulator. First thing you want to verify is that the director's IP address is set correctly. As you can see, our IP address is 10 14 6 100. I'm going to hit connect to tell the software to connect to the instrument. As you can see, the software now has connection, and we can further verify this by looking at the bottom, seeing the blue lettering connected to system. After hitting the establish control to proceed to the next step, on the upper left hand corner we have emulation settings. The choices for priority are current and voltage. We will be using voltage for today's test. The options for the range are high and low range. We also have a harmonic control function we can check on or off depending on the test. I am now going to hit apply emulation settings. Now the first thing you should look, look at is your frequency to make sure it matches the input that your load takes. Ours is 60 Hz, so there is no change needed. The second setting to look at is the line of neutral voltage. This, this software does not calculate the line to line voltage for three phase loads, so you will have to calculate the line to neutral voltage. Then do the math to make sure that it's within the specs for your load. The phase angle will also need to be inputted to the different desired differences. Most typical differences are 120 degrees, so we'll be using 120 degree differences for phase B and 240 for phase C. Here are the parameter behavior settings that the user may change depending on the test they are doing. The parameter limit section is the safety limits usually set for the protection of the load. Now we will show all the settings you could change. After adding in potential parameters, we will push the update all set point parameters to apply the desired settings. We have the neutral pass connector which can be switched on or off depending on your load. In our case, we are attached to the neutral, so we will go ahead and close the contactor. Then we will turn on the output. The output is now on. Here are the measurement settings. I will now turn on my load to 5 amps. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this video has been informative and we look forward to serving your rental needs soon. Have a wonderful day.